Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Gary Dean Detailing. I'm working on, well, I'm about to start working on a 2016 Corvette Z06. Got my wash water for the Gary Dean wash method all straightened out, ready to go. Got my waffle weave Gary Dean wash me method towel in my pocket. Um, this thing's pretty optioned out. The only thing he doesn't have is the Z07 option, which is just the the spoiler kit, the the I guess stickier tires, bigger brakes, that kind of thing. It's this car also does not have navigation, unfortunately. But other than that, it's pretty pretty decked out. So uh, the plan is to do a gloss enhancing polish with infinite finish on this thing to really bring out the gloss. Uh, and then uh, I will be applying the brand new infinite force field coating that I'll be releasing, releasing to the public on detailjuice.com on March 1st, 2017. So this, this coating is uh, one of the easiest on the planet to apply. Um, it is also very, very durable. So pretty stoked to clean this baby up and, and get some force field applied. So I'll keep you posted as the detail goes. It is time now to wash and decontaminate and then I'll bring you back, probably uh, get some shots of, of me doing some polishing. So without further ado, here we go. All right, we're making some progress. I got everything all nice and clean, all decontaminated. I am now about to start polishing. I'm gonna hand polish these exhaust tips real quick. Notice they've got gunk on them. Let me use some chrome cream. So, grab a black towel out of my, my bag here. And I'm gonna get to work. Usually use a corner of a towel, a little bit of polish on there, fold it over. Now I will just rub it in. I'm just going to do this lip because that's what you can see. I'm not going to get all up in there. It doesn't make any sense. You need it to make sense. That's important. Get all that carbon off of <clears throat> just the area that's most noticeable. They're not bad. Just bugs me. It'll take me very little time to fix it. So I'm doing this little bit to please myself, really. So I got those two done. Wipe off the residue. And they're nice and clean. Gotta get those done. That one's kind of nasty. That's it. All right, get the polisher out, start polishing, and then put some force field on this bad boy. Hover Freight DA, Buff and Shine Low Pro Maroon Pad, Infinite Finish.
Oh wow, looks amazing. Very, very glossy. It's what we want. It's a gloss enhancement detail with protection. So, trying to boost all the gloss we can get and uh, protect this bad boy. So, that is what is going down. It's definitely way glossier after infinite finish. Looking awesome. All right, boys and girls, I'm almost done polishing this Corvette with infinite finish. Uh, and then I get to the driver door and I notice there's a nasty scratch right here. I don't know if you can see it. Maybe not. It's right there. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get that out with infinite finish. So, well, we'll see. Put some on the pad, but I'm also putting some right on the scratch. Let's see what we can do with this. Not gonna happen with infinite finish, unfortunately. And here's the problem. The closer you get to an edge, the thinner the paint gets. So I worry about cutting too deep. Obviously, I don't wanna have to pay to paint the door or to have the door blended because I'm in the business to make money, not spend it because I screw things up like a dummy. So I think what I'm gonna do so that I don't contaminate this pad with infinite cut right now, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the door because that's all I have left uh, on this car to polish. And then I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can do something with that scratch with just one pass with infinite cut on this um, maroon pad. And if that fixes it, awesome. I'll give it one shot, and if it does not fix it, then I'm not dealing with it, so it'll have to stay. So I gave it a little bit of a shot with infinite cut, and I can tell you that this is the most frustrating thing for a detailer, to see a scratch that he feels like he could normally fix, and just, n just know that it is just the dumbest thing that he could possibly do to continue to try to fix it. I'm gonna give it one more shot. I'll give it one more, one more shot, one more shot. So, got my uh, infinite cut. I'm going to just get a little bit on the tip of the uh, pad here, just the edge where I'll be working. I'm gonna put just a little bit right there on the scratch. And here goes nothing. A dingleberry hanging there. Here we go. Gonna be able to get it. That's the bottom line. I can see that the scratch is coming out, but every time I press on it, every time I push the limit, 
I run the risk of burning through that edge right there. And again, first of all, my client probably doesn't even know that scratch is there until he watches this video. However, it looks better now than it did because the edges are rounded off by the polish. And realistically, if I didn't know what I was looking for, he, you probably wouldn't be able to see it. Um, so I'm not unhappy with it. I'm just going to go over it real quick with some uh, infinite finish. And then the whole car is getting uh, infinite force field. And that's all she wrote. So, all done polishing this car. Got some paint chips on the corner there. Yeah, it looks a lot better. But, alright, all done polishing this thing. I'll go ahead and take you off this contraption and show you what she looks like before I do anything as far as applying protection. It looks amazing. I mean, it, it never hurts when a car starts out as a really nice car. But we've got the wheels and the barrels all clean. Paint was washed with the Gary Dean wash method and then uh, clay barred with my Japanese clay bar I use uh, that I sell on detailjuice.com. It's, it's the most aggressive gentle clay I've ever used, which is why I use it. It does a great job of removing heavy contamination uh, while not scratching the surface or marring it in any way, uh, thus prepping it for the sealant application afterwards so all right so polishing is done gloss enhancement check and so now i'm gonna get everything set up for the force field application um which if you guys have seen the infinite diamond shield which is my silica based nano glass coating uh what's crazy is Infinite Diamond Shield is pretty amazing, but, and it's slam full of the latest technology, but in all of my testing and the testing of many, many other people around the globe uh, for the past, I don't know, eight months or so, they're telling me that uh, Infinite Force Field is actually holding up better than most of the other coatings, if not all of the other coatings that they're testing it against. So. Uh, it is absolutely amazing, and the cool part about Infinite Force Field is I'm able to offer you high-end coating protection from the elements at polymer sealant pricing, which is going to be pretty amazing. So, a solid blend of amazing and amazing. So, anyway, I'm going to prep everything and get ready for the force field application. What'd you say is uh, 15? Yeah. 16 there isn't really any difference. A little bit I think on the interior. Wheels and barrels are all clean. Man the paint looks so good in the sun. I know we don't have full sun but it's yeah. better than being in that garage. So I put the brand new unreleased force field, so infinite force field all over the car, the wheels and the glass. So I've been testing the product for a long time and all the guys that have been testing it, we've been trying to come up with a name and Force field seems to be what makes the most sense. <laughs> so we were looking the other day and um, fortunately a automotive protective product, the trademark for force field wasn't taken. Okay, just so we just, yep, we, uh, I already filed for it. So it'll be um, 
as soon as the USPTO approves it, we're good to go. How is the paint in general in this factory? Well, it's always, Corvettes are always super hard. Yeah. It's hard as a rock, but you're fortunate because it doesn't, it wasn't in bad shape. You've got some stuff, uh, you know, random scratches, but that's very common, especially when they're brand new. But I, I would say overall, uh, I didn't, I didn't see too many defects to have to remove. I know a lot of the guys when I read the blogs, you know, when I, before I got the car, were having issues with the paint. Well, they, I can tell you that they're these cars in particular are less than stellar from the factory i've seen uh edges burned i've seen um sanding pigtails from dual action uh you know sanders and that kind of thing but your car i i actually inspected all the edges and everything and the only real edge problems were you know that scratch and this little bit of issue man that looks amazing i wish i had this monday night like this <laughs> Um, again, you all you got to do is let it sit for an hour or two, and you can do you can do whatever you want. Well, you could. I mean, I barely even go out in the rain. My wife gets goes crazy. I always take it out. <laughs> Not because I don't want to rain, but because I'm afraid of the other people out there. All right, 2015 Corvette Z06. You see it. If you got any questions, 813-846-4406. Uh, check out detailjuice.com and check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products and basically everything I've got going on. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day.